Hey everybody, Mike Freeland coming at you. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, and that's with good reason. I've been doing some remodeling in my home and everything, but I had to stop into this video because I've been getting a lot of questions uh, lately from people that are interested in this phenomenal industry of Forex and also uh, with the company that I'm a part of. So they've been asking me like, hey Mike, what is it that you do when you wake up in the morning or you go throughout your day what is it that you do on a regular that keeps the flow um, in this industry of Forex and with uh, using the IML tools? Okay, so what I normally do, guys, is when I get up in the morning, I immediately come to what you see here, which is the uh, MetaTrader 4 for your desktop. Now, this is the... Uh, JAFX one so it's it's kind of got some tools and things uh, from the JF JAFX broker as well but what I've done is I've configured this with some of the indicators that I like such as showing you your profit and loss through the US dollars the Bollinger Bands the RSI and the uh, stochastic and for those of you who may be looking at this for the first time not only this video but the industry and you don't understand what all of those are, don't worry about it. When you become a part of the team, uh, uh, we have tons of training to explain what all of that is, as well as iMarkets Live has a video suite of training that is just amazing. But what I do is I come here, and I actually have this set up off of a strategy which is called the Sharif strategy. Now, it's called that because the gentleman who created it, he's from Africa, and his last name is Sharif. And what it is, is he utilizes four of the many pairs, currency pairs, in uh, the, the Forex trading uh, to create profit literally on a daily basis. Now, I have to tell you guys that past results as far as your profits or potential profits does not uh, constitute what could happen as far as trading anytime in the future because again, with trading there is a risk of loss but there's also a risk of profit, profit and that's what brings a lot of people here and excited so in this particular uh, setting that I have set up I have all four pairs that he utilizes okay I have the EUR um, GBP the USD JPY the EUR USD and the GBP USD they're all set on 15 minutes. His system is designed to operate its best setting it at 15 minutes. Okay, so all of us on 15 minutes. Now, his system is pretty much geared to the RSI or the Relative Strength Index, which is what you see this heavy blue line uh, <clears throat> in these diagrams or in these charts. Now, when I first get up, what I do is these are the first things that I look at. When I bring this particular, when I bring my MetaTrader 4 up, okay? Why? Because these will determine whether or not literally you want to get into a trade based on Sharif's strategy. Why is that? Because his strategy states or, or says that you shouldn't get in a trade unless it's 70 or above, which is up in the air, or 30 and below, okay? Everything in here is kind of volatile and it can always shift back and forth as you can see through all of these diagrams pretty much between the 70 and 30 goes up and down uh, quite a bit but they do go below the 30 and they do go above the 70 now the power of that is that if it goes above and, up and below just the uh, particular currency pair is being overbought or oversold and it's it's likely it's highly likely that that particular currency is getting ready if it's uh, in this case here if it's bought over bought it's going to come down down here if it's oversold it's going to come up okay that kind of guarantees you a little more gives you a little more comfort now it states 30 and below as well as 70 and above as far as the relative strength index but a lot of times as you can see it can go higher okay so just because it hits the 30 and the 70 is not necessarily when you jump in you watch trade and um, watch and see how far to go and he has some indicators that lets you know 
uh, or gives you the best time to get in. All right, and that's what this <coughs> stochastic is. This stochastic, which is the broken red and blue lines, lets you know based on whether or not it's a buy or whether or not it's a sell. The sell is in red, the buy is in, in this case it looks blue, is going up and down. What happens is when the relative index is above 70 or below 30 and the, the uh, stochastic is crossing, see here it was going up as a buy. Then when it crossed, the red line comes over in front of the blue, which is showing a sell. Okay, this is in all of them that you can see, they're crossing. It's at these cross points, whether you are in or looking to get into a buy or you're looking to get into a sell, it's what you want to look look for. When the relative strength index is below, or below 30 or above 70 or above, and it's going in the direction that you want it to go, either a buy or a sell. And when the red, and in my case, on my system, the blue, <clears throat> uh, or you can call it green, uh, indicators cross. These two here is a good indication to when you should want to enter into that trade. Now also, we use the Bullinger Bands. The Bullinger Bands have a very, very, very special uh, use too because when you're watching these and your candles are touching, when they touch, depending on whether it's a buy or sell, and they touch the Bollinger Bands, okay, which is usually three bands as you can see here, but these are moving because these are actual trades that are happening. When they touch, don't worry about the middle one, when they touch the top or the bottom, then the very next candle that's going in the direction that you want to go, whether you're coming it come down in a sell or going up into a, a buy, when it when that candle hits that particular Bollinger band in the color that you need, my candles are red of our sells, greens are buys. Okay? So when it hits that, uh, that's when you want to get in the trade. Three things you look for. When the RSI is up 70 or above, 30 or below, when the stochastic is going in the direction that you want it to go, whether it's a buy or a sell, at the cross, at the cross, at the carryover, all right, is what you want to look for to get into that trade, meaning that it crossed over in this uh, this instance, and now it's a going into a sell. That's what you want to see. Now, once I get that going, okay, once I get that going in one of these four, if there's not any of these four, I'll tell you what I do as well. But once I get that going in these four, then what I do is I come over to the iMarket Live's webinar, and the one that is actually that I'm going to be really focusing on because they all won't be there. Okay, they all won't be above 70. They all won't be below 30 or above or below. All right. Uh, sometimes you'll get multiples, and then you can either get into both or you can make a choice on which one you want to get in. But what I do is I bring up, like you see here, USD, JPY, I make sure it's on 15 minutes. I bring in the RSI, I bring in the stochastic, I set them to uh, the degrees or the levels that Sharif, as you see here, his name, uh, wants them or uses them, which means I'm here. And I'll click it so you can see. We'll go in and I'll make sure the length is seven and close. And then I'll come down here and make sure that it's 14, three and three. Now, when you first go into the webinar, it's going to be a default. So you have to go in, make sure that you're at the Sharif strategy. Okay. Once you do that, you want to make sure that you're set to 15 minutes. All right. Then from there, you want to come down on these little, uh, look like motor wheels. You want to open them up and make sure that it's reading seven and close and 14, three and three. Once that, you're set. This right here matches, let's do the USP, USD, I'm sorry, JPY. It actually matches, if you look here at the USD JPY, it actually matches, okay? So if I was getting into this, trade once I would get into the trade I can either go in 
to the trade right here from my MetaTrader 4 or I can go in through my phone and do it because I have it on my phone. What happens is once you do that and, and you hit it to go live, this is a live account, you will start seeing your profit and loss uh, generate right on the screen. Down here in the bottom, you would see your profit uh, and everything is going right here. You will see what your commissions will be. Okay, if you do a stop loss and take profit, uh, this will appear and, and many other things that you can sit and watch this and you can also close it out when you're comfortable. Okay, and this particular type of uh, strategy, you know, we, we call it pips and dips. You get in, some people get in and they do five pips, some people do 10, some may go a little higher, but based on the amount of pips that you want to uh, achieve or get, and your lot size, which is uh, how much you want to put in into that trade, you know, you can see it all right here at the trade. And when you're comfortable with the profit or if it's going the opposite way, which could happen, we have some things to help you alleviate that as much as possible, but it could happen, uh, then you can come out of the trade. Okay, now, another question that was asked to me, uh, asked of me was, you know, if you're away from home, what is it that you do? How do you keep track on what's going on? And can you do it from your phone? Everything can be done. Everything that's done on a laptop can be done on your phone, guys. Uh, and in many cases, even more. Uh, iMarketLive has an awesome, awesome tool that's called Swipe Trades, where they actually have brokers that set up uh, trades and you get notifications on your phone. Okay, and you can actually utilize those whether you're at home or on the go, and you can set those trades up based on what those brokers say. Uh, and, and you can set up a profit and loss, and you once you set it up, guys, it's like set it and forget it, and um, let it work for you, and, and you can create it that way. Another tool that I like that I want to show you is a tool that I found that's really cool because it gives me notifications on these four trades okay anytime they go above the 70 or below the 30 it's like hey there's my wake up call let me see what the trade is doing if, if it's in between the 30 and the 70 you know I'm not even going to get a part of it and again this is Sharif's strategy that I'm talking about other people's strategy may not call for this but when it gets above 70 or below 30 uh, this next tool that I'm going to show you just sends me uh, a signal on my phone and then that allows me to look at whichever one of these it's talking about and decide whether or not I want to get into that trade this particular tool is called the easy RSI this is a powerful little tool that you can download from your app store okay and what it has it has a watch list that in this in my case I would have those same four um, currency pairs in and any time one of those get above 70 or below 30, it sends me a message on my phone, a ding, uh, which is pretty loud. It's definitely a wake-up call to let you know. Now, it also has a library of all of the currency pairs. Okay, so let's say the ones that I'm looking at is not in the uh, Sharif strategy deal uh, as far as being above or below 70 or 30. Okay, I can see which other ones are that's not on my watch list. And then I can go and monitor those should I want to. Very, very powerful tool. Uh, it kind of lets me know, you know, throughout the day what's going on. When I get that signal, I know one of my main four that I'm following based on the Sharif strategy is now above or below. You can also, as you see here, you can set it to whatever you really want. But I would say leave it based on what it is it comes this way already set between 70 and 30 uh, and it has the hours already set but you can in fact cut the ones on and off like I've turned on my phone all of these off I just used the 15 minutes so when I'm out and about I get that then I you know it's on my phone I just go from there and I'll look up the particular um, currency pad that it's talking about see exactly where everything is right on my phone through my um my excuse me through the uh metatrader 4 system where i can place the trade and stuff right on my phone i also can look at the uh mobile version 
of the uh, web analyzer and see exactly what's going on. So I mean, everything can be done from your phone. Everything is going on through the phone. And this is what I do, guys, night and day. Sometimes I trade in the afternoons. Sometimes I trade or set up a trade in the morning. Uh, a lot of times I'm getting used to doing trading overnight. I have to change a little sleep habits a little bit. But, you know, in my opinion, those seem to be a, lot, a little more lucrative. Uh, it's a lot more busier. It's, it's the uh, uh, UK trading and the, the Japanese markets are going a little bit still. So there's a lot going on overnight while we're asleep that could put you in a position to uh, make some serious income. So I wanted to do this, guys. Go back and look at this video again. I uh, hope it was helpful. I use this. This is on my phone. You get it right out of your app store. Um, again, the web analyzer from IML, uh, and along with the other tools and trainings. This is when I zero in on a particular trade that I have um, from my uh, Meta, Meta Trader 4. Uh, when, I, when I first get up in the morning, this, will be, this is the focus one that uh, I do after I check on the MetaTrader 4 and again see if it's above 70 or above or to see if it's 30 or below okay remember that's the first thing we look for then from there we look at the stochastic to see whether the cross has happened or is about to happen um, and then we, we go back over to the uh, analyzer the web analyzer okay uh, if you've got any questions, guys, look at this video again. I'm going to leave information there where you can call me directly. This strategy here, there's a lot of great strategies that's in with the uh, High Market Live um, opportunity that a lot of the uh, <clears throat> a lot of the representatives are putting together, and people are having so much success all around the world. But for me personally, and a lot of other people that I know that use this. Uh, locally, nationally, and internationally, they love this because of its simplicity. All right, and that's what people look for. That's what gets them excited. And then when everything is happening in the positive and the income is being cre created and all, you won't have to run out. People will see what you're doing, hear about what you're doing. You'll share with them, and they'll see it, and they'll come wanting the information firsthand. So with that, this is Mike Freeland. You guys take care. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you on the other side of money. God bless.